If you are excellent, that means you are mediocre because excellence is the new mediocrity. Right? So if you're excellent, you're mediocre because excellence is a new mediocrity because everybody's excellent. If you were not excellent, you would not still be in this game. So what's one step beyond excellent? It's called being outstanding. And the news gets worse before it gets better. You can starve being outstanding. Some of you go, what are you talking about, Mr. Lipkin? You look strange, you sound strange, you must be that way. <laughs> now here's what I mean. So let's take my industry. Inevitably, when someone decides to bring someone like me into an event like this, they have a list of 10 to 15 excellent speakers. It's called the long list. How many of you have ever been on the long list? Right, you're excellent. Then what happens is they narrow the long list down to a short list of two or three. That's called outstanding. But inevitably, one person, one organization gets the deal. That person or organization is preeminent. That means you are differentiated even amongst the outstanding. You are preeminent. That needs to be our pursuit here today. And the way you demonstrate your preeminence is the quality of the conversations you have, real time. Because in these times where people have less and less time, if you... So now that we are present, now that we have our own plan, now we can move to step number seven, which is prepare to win. And I will tell you that unless you prepare to win, you cannot expect to achieve preeminence in any meeting. And when I talk about preparing to win, I don't just mean being a subject matter expert. Although, I will tell you that you want to know what you're talking about so deeply that when other people hear you talk, it comes out like magic. You see, when someone has reached that level of preparation, where preparation has kind of entered their bloodstream, when they talk with that depth of understanding and knowledge, people look at them as if to say, how does he do that? Or how does she know all of that? Well, that's amazing. That's how prepared you want to be. Then only can you move to the next step, which is on page 8, which is then only can you face your phantoms. Because what do we call courage without preparation? How many of you know people who are pretty courageous, but they're also lazy? Let's look at the final page. And that is, you can only get what you want to need if your focus is on performing exactly that function for others. See yourself as a conduit for other people's possibility. See yourself as the reason why other people's capacity to be remarkable is expanded. There's an ancient African saying that says, And the literal translation of that is, a person is a person because of other people. My translation is, we're all angels with one wing. We can only fly while embracing each other. Right, practice living that way. Thank you.